Hello everyone, welcome to Sunday service. Uh, at this time, let us all arise from our seat. Let us recite the Apostles' Creed together. I believe in God the Father Almighty, the Maker of heaven and earth, and Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, dead, and buried. He ascended to hell, the third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended to heaven and sitting at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Christian Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. All right, everyone, we just want to say thank you to everyone who sent in the picture of them worshiping. And for everyone who sent it in, you receive one sticker. But guys, uh, there's still a chance. If you haven't done so, please send in the picture this week. And for everyone who sent it in, you'll receive a sticker. All right? Great job. And let's get into our Bible memory verse. All right, everyone, let's read it aloud. One, two, three. Let your light shine before others, that they may see your good deed and glorify your Father in heaven. Matthew chapter 5, verse 16. Great job, everyone. Let's do a quick review of last week's Bible memory verse part together. Let's read it aloud. One, two, three. That they may see your good deed. And it's from Matthew chapter 5, verse 16. Let's do one more quick review. All right, let's read it aloud. That they may see your good deeds. And we know this month is Matthew chapter 5, verse 16. Great job, everyone. Let's focus in and let's memorize this week's part together. So let's read it aloud. One, two, three. And glorify your Father in heaven. Matthew chapter 5, verse 16. All right, guys, let's really take this time and let's memorize the Word of God together. Let's read that aloud to ourselves and let's memorize it together. Ready, set, go. And glorify your Father in heaven. And glorify your Father in heaven. Matthew chapter 5, verse 16. And glorify your Father in heaven. Matthew chapter 5. Verse 16, and glorify your Father in heaven. Matthew chapter 5, verse 16. And glorify your Father in heaven. Matthew chapter 5, verse 16. Alright guys, let's do a final review together. And let's read it aloud. And glorify your Father in heaven. And we know it's from Matthew chapter 5, verse 16. Great job, everyone. Let's really focus in and make sure we memorize each month's, I mean, each week's part so that at the end of the month, we'll be able to memorize the whole entire Bible memory verse together. Let's go into a time of body worship and let's worship the Lord. Everywhere I go on this road, I am Where I go, I go with you. So I Where I go, I go with you. 
All right, guys, let's really focus in and let's worship the Lord with our last song together. God of heaven and earth, you are amazing. You hold me up with your hand, you give me faith, and I will put my hope in you alone. In you alone. God of heaven and earth, you are amazing. You hold me up with your hand, you give me faith, and I will put my hope in you alone. In you alone. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for a time where we were able to learn your word through Bible memorization. And Lord, we thank you for a time where we were able to just worship you. In this uh, song, we're reminded that, Lord, we want to worship you and you alone. And Father, we also ask for your help. Uh, Lord, uh, help us understand your word as Pastor Moses comes out and give us today's sermon. And we just thank you so much. And we pray all this in your son's name, Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. All right, guys, at this time, Pastor Moses will come up and give us today's sermon. So let's all give him a super warm welcome as he comes up. Okay, Pastor Moses, woo! Yeah. In you alone. Yeah. Uh, thank you for joining us for our worship. And let's get into God's word together. Our passage comes from the book of John, chapter 9, verses 1 to 4. John 9, 1 to 4. Let's read in one voice together. This is the word of God. As he went along, he saw a man blind from birth. His disciples asked him, Rabbi, who sinned, this man or his parents, that he was born blind? Neither this man nor his parents sinned, said Jesus, but this happened so that the works of God might be displayed in him. As long as it is day, we must do the works of him who sent me. Night is coming when no one can work. Amen. Let's pray. Lord, we thank you for allowing us this time and uh, the desire in our hearts to worship you like this. Uh, although it's not a long time, I think the most important thing is, are our hearts uh, willing to worship you and listen to your word? Uh, I pray that you will give us that desire, give us that uh, want to listen to your voice, Lord. Because we know that your voice, your love, your word is powerful. So please be with us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I want to ask you a question. What is the most valuable part of your body? 
What is the most valuable part? Probably it is the brain. Okay? We need a brain to function. It tells all of everything, what to do, when to do it, remembers things and all that. Brain is so important. Okay. After the brain, what do you guys think? We probably need a heart. Okay? If we don't have a heart uh, and that beats, we can't breathe, we can't pump blood everywhere where we need it. We need a heart. But after the, the brain, the heart, and all these important internal organs, what is most important in your body? Okay. I think it's our eyes. Okay, our eyes. The ability to see is such a blessing, such a privilege, su such something to be thankful for. Right? That we could see. Imagine if we couldn't see. It would be so difficult to live, right? You would be bumping into things like you can't see your loved ones, right? You can't even watch TV. There's nothing you can do if you can't see. Okay? So I want us to be thankful for everything we have, especially our eyes that we can see. But in our story today, we see a blind man. Everyone say blind man. This blind man could not see. He was born blind. So he's never seen his family. He's never seen even a tree, a mountain. He's never seen stars. He's never seen his friends. He just heard them. But Jesus came. Okay? Jesus came. And he came to heal him. Jesus came to heal this man who could not see. He was able to see. And imagine how happy he was. Right? This man can finally see the beautiful world. He could see his family and his friends. He could even see himself. He couldn't even see his own body, brothers and sisters. But now he could finally see. Why does the Bible share with us a story like this? Because this is the picture of us. Because we were spiritually blind. Everyone say, spiritually blind spiritually blind meaning that just like this we couldn't see but what could we not see we could see this the crowd we could see everything but spiritually we couldn't see god we didn't know god we couldn't see god we couldn't love god we don't see why god is good okay? we were blind spiritually but jesus came and he forgave us and he washed away our sin so that we can see when our parents love God and they say, let's go to church, we can't see. We're like, why do we go to church? Why should we love God? Why should we praise God? Your, our parents can see, but we couldn't see. But what did Jesus do? He washed away our sin so that we could see too. Even though we're young, even though we're babies, even though we're kids, we can see there's something different about Jesus. He is awesome. He does love me. He has changed my heart. He has given me love and hope and peace. He is real. Although physically we can never see Jesus, right, until he comes back, right? We know he exists, just like the wind. Have you seen the wind? Do you say, oh, there's the wind. It's moving around. No, but do you know it exists? Yes. You hear it? feel it same thing with Jesus you might not be able to see him with your eyes but you know he's there because he's powerful because he's moving because he's real and he lives inside our hearts right? that's what Jesus did that's why God sent Jesus so that we will not be spiritually blind anymore but we could see how beautiful God is how beautiful Jesus is and how harmful sin is he's allowed us to see that so I want us to finish with this song here. It's called Amazing Grace. I don't know if you guys know it. Maybe we can learn it today. Okay? Let's sing it together, okay? Amazing grace, how sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me. I once was lost. I once was lost, but now I found. Was blind, was blind, but now I 
see. Amen. Doesn't this song show how we were before we met Jesus? But he saved a wretch, a broken person like me. I once was lost, right? I couldn't see what's valuable, what's good. I hurt myself, I hurt other people. But now I am found. Jesus found me. I was blind, but now I can see how beautiful Jesus is. So brothers and sisters, let's thank Jesus that we could see. And let's continue to hold on to him so that we could see how great he is and how harmful sin is. Amen? Amen. Let's pray. Lord, we thank you for showing us the story of this blind man who was blind from birth. We can just imagine how horrible that life must have been, how much suffering he went through. But Jesus, you came and you healed him and he was able to see. And that's the picture of us before we met you, Jesus. Spiritually, we could not see you. Our parents who love you, they could see you. They could say, Jesus is awesome. I love Jesus. He healed my heart. But when we look at Jesus, we can't see him. But Jesus, when you came into our heart, you washed our sin away and allowed us to be able to see how beautiful and wonderful and loving you are. You allowed us to see how harmful a sinful life is. So help us to thank you, to praise you for allowing us to see and continue trusting and hoping in you uh, because you are the most beautiful thing that we can ever see in our lives. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Uh, thank you, Pastor Moses. I hope that all of us, including myself, throughout the week, that we could remember to be thankful for all the things that Jesus has done. And yes, we couldn't see how wonderful Jesus was, and we couldn't see how bad we were, but let's be all thankful for what Jesus has done. At this time, let us close with the Lord's Prayer. Uh, our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debt, as we also have forgiven our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For yours is the kingdom and power and glory forever. Amen. All right, everyone. I hope everyone has a wonderful week, and see you soon. Take care. Bye.